Today, let's talk about a unique way to control your Gmail using infinite email addresses. Welcome to Just Basics. This is just an Apple Walkie step by step the most important things that you should be doing to increase your privacy and security online. There's something a lot of people don't realize about their Gmail addresses and that you have a couple of ways that you can modify your addresses without actually having to create multiple addresses. Let's say that you have the email address justbasics at gmail.com. You have the ability to put in anywhere before the at sign and it will still be delivered to your inbox. You can have it just.basics at gmail.com and it will still be delivered to justbasics at gmail.com email. You can have j.sbasics at gmail.com and that would also be delivered to the justbasic at gmail.com. Now another way you can do is using the plus sign. If you add the plus sign right before the at sign in any other word, that email will also get delivered to your inbox. So for example, just basics plus work at gmail.com also gets delivered at just basic at gmail.com. Just basics plus newsletter at gmail.com would also get delivered to your inbox. All these are ways that you can create infinite email addresses and still have it delivered to your inbox. But why would you want to do that? Well, there are a couple different reasons. Let's say that you want to sign up for a newsletter but you want to make sure that you put that in a specific folder or that it gets delivered to a certain place. What I can do is I can add the particular email address justbasics plus newsletter at gmail.com and then create a filter within Gmail. So I will go in and tell Gmail that if any email from justbasics plus newsletter at gmail.com comes in, I'm gonna have to skip the inbox. I'm going to add it in a particular label to add it and then I'm gonna move it to this folder. Anytime that email comes in, that automatically happens and I don't have to do anything with it. You can use this to create a to-do list. Let's say that anytime that I want to remember to do something, I could email just basics plus to do at gmail.com and then create a rule within Gmail to send that to a particular folders that I remember to do that on my to-do list. If you really really want to get technical about it, you can use something known as IFTTT or if this then that to take something that is emailed in and turn it into let's say something on your actual to-do list if you have. Let's say I don't like having my emails comes as a notification on my phone. It's just a way for me to remove a lot of distractions but there are times when I want specific VIP people to always be able to access and get a hold. What I can do is I can create a specific email for them just basics plus VIP at gmail.com and then create a rule where anytime somebody from that email address emails me I get a text message saying that somebody emailed me from that address. These are just a few of many ways that you can use this unlimited email feature to control your email inbox and take control instead of allowing Google and Gmail to decide what goes in your promotions, what goes in your social, and what goes into your inbox tab. If you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comments below. If this video is helpful, give this video a thumbs up and thank you for watching. See you on my next video guys. Bye!